Tamsin Westhorpe, author of Diary of a Modern Country Gardener, and I am bringing the pages of my book to life. Now today is the most gorgeous spring day, and I'm sitting a bit too close to our beehives actually. They are really, really active today, and they're looking for blossom, and the garden is packed with it here at Stocktonbury. So I'm gonna read you a little passage from my book about blossom, and then I'm gonna tell you and show you some beautiful blossoming trees and share some practical tips. So here we go. Cheer us onwards, the pear blossom is out. This arrives before the dessert apple and cider apple blossom. If you're clever with your planting, you can enjoy a relay of blossom from fruit trees right through to the end of May. If I had to choose one tree to grow for blossom, it would be Malus transitoria. This crab apple grows tiny fruits that only the birds will find useful, but its blossom is out of this world. This is the gorgeous blossom of the Asian pear tree that's in our walled kitchen garden. So it's got a hot spot, been here 25 years, brilliantly small, so ideal for a small garden. And it has these fruits that are golden, they're like golden apples in the autumn. And people can't believe they're a pear. They're incredibly tough to bite into, but if you cut them into slices, they, they taste just like old fashioned pear drops. They are utterly gorgeous. So for blossom fruit and a compact size, I really, really recommend the Asian pear. This smaller fruit tree here is a Miracot. It's new, it's a cross between a Mirabelle and an Apricot, and it's gonna have incredibly juicy fruits. We bought it from our favorite specialist tree nursery, which is just up the road, Frank P. Matthews. Now, it's quite close to the um, Asian pear, but even in a, in a big garden, you'd be surprised we're short of space. But experiment with your fruit trees. If you haven't got the space, grow them in tubs, grow them in pots, train them against a wall. But one word of advice, we're very sheltered here in this south facing spot. If you are in a frost pocket, choose varieties that bloom later. So you can see behind me, these apple trees, dwarf apple trees, haven't even thought about blossoming yet. So they're better for a less sheltered spot. So look at the timing. And as I say in my book, it's amazing. You can have a whole relay of blossom, starting with Prunus padas, moving on to the pear trees, moving on to the Asian pear, moving on to the miracots, and then you move on to things like the crab apples. Um, and my most favorite crab apple that I can't highly recommend enough is Malus transitoria great for a small garden, absolutely incredible blossom. The fruits are only good for the birds because they're too small, but honestly, that is my pick of the week. 